everyone, get your pens out right now. Emma, take note. I'm going to show you a real classic, simple dish to whip up to entertain for friends, family, guests of any description that's light, healthy, full of protein. But most importantly, it doesn't lack in flavour. Delicious. So to get started, Emma Dean, Oops. I'm preheated a griddle pan here. You're going to make me some little crostinis, please. Mm -hmm. Just toast them off until they're got nice char marks How on. How thin do you like them? That? Perfect. Half a centimetre? Well, that's nearly... That's closer to a centimetre. It is, isn't it? I, I'm not very good with... Um, Measurements. Estimating one centimetre and a half centimetre. I always go a bit bigger. So while you do that, I'll pass you the oil ready yep, to go. thank you. I'm going to make a quick little vinaigrette dressing to go over a cucumber salad. So here I have 75 <laughs> grams that I'm going to add to the bowl of creme fraiche. It's got nice acid. It's also got a creaminess to it, which is great to put in dressings mixed with things like smoked trout, cucumber, dill. Matches made in heaven. You know, you do, do some great party hacks here, Lynn, and I'm loving oh, you it. You need it. And when you're entertaining friends, you want to just have a good time with your mates and just make some really yummy food and just get into it. You don't want to spend all day in the kitchen. So into the creme fraiche with some apple cider vinegar. You know, with dressings at home when you're making them, always taste them. I can't recommend that enough. What Emma and I are showing you is only a guideline. Dijon mustard, two to three teaspoons straight in, and that's changing colour. I've got to get my night. sticks on, don't I? Yeah. As I said, this is so quick. I think that's plenty, actually, <laughs> looking at that. <laughs> Emma was going to cut me the whole baguette. Well, I think we've got friends coming over, you know, so... <laughs> Why do you, you run at the market? Do you oil the bread or oil the pan? The bread. Bread. What do you do? I'm going to do a bit of both. I'm going to do a bit of both. A bit of the pan, a bit of the bread. Woo! On the board. Lincoln's twitching. No. 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 But if I was entertaining, I probably wouldn't make such a mess. <laughs> so, just lent on some cloves of garlic. Really Oops. simple. Nothing technical here. Great about half to three quarters of a clove of garlic. Pinch of salt. I did do a few, didn't I? In. I got Fresh a bit black pepper. Enthusiastic. And a good couple of tablespoons, probably a quarter of a cup of chopped dill. Things like parsley also go great in this. Fennel, you know, tarragon, also great ingredients. So now that my dressing's made, sit that to the side and really easy, just ribbons of cucumber just straight onto the board for now. And just peel the cucumber all the way down to the seeds, as you can see, that line there. Don't go any further than that. Becomes too sloppy, too bitter. Excellent. How are the crostinis going there? Good. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, there we go, got some char on them, whoop. It's so simple. If I ever hear of any of you at home <laughs> going out and buying crostinis in a packet when you can just have a lovely baguette, Cook it up over a griddle pan and the product and is few incredible. Dollars. I know, you're paying $2 for a baguette as opposed to $7 for a pack Ten of with us. Oh. <laughs> so there's my cucumber ribbons. Look at that. Now into the cucumber ribbons into a small mixing bowl. Just dress this last minute. You can make the dressing ahead of time and the cucumber <laughs> ribbons. But if you're making it in the afternoon to serve at night, don't mix it all together until five minutes before you're ready to serve because the cucumber will go sloppy, all the liquid will leach out, and it won't be a very enjoyable experience. No. Lots of flavour for minimal input, and that's what I like to see in my cooking. Absolutely. There we go. That's fully combined now. The measurements for the smoked salmon are sort of irrelevant, just enough to feed however many people you're going to have around. So all you do, a little bit of smoked salmon down on your crostini. I'm just going to continue going through, putting my salmon onto my little crostinis before I top it with the lovely creme fraiche dressed cucumber. And then we're ready to serve these. These are great little summer treats. Shaved cucumber with a delicious tangy creme fraiche dressing and of course smoked salmon from the Queen Victoria market and homemade crostinis. There's nothing better to enjoy with some great company. Mm. That's a win. It's a win.